<laughs> Hello, my YouTube people. <laughs> I'm going to get it together one day. Um, so, I hope everybody is doing well. I'm really excited and goofy today because I just launched my business as a life coach. Yay! I've been um, trying to think this process out for almost a year now. And so uh, I am ready to go. I'm ready to assist one-on-one -on -one now. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. I will continue to do my YouTube videos for informational purposes and to give, um, you know, knowledge, free knowledge to people who everybody is not able to pay a fee for services. And I understand that. So I will continue to, um, you know, bring to you um, educational knowledge as well as personal to my YouTube channel. So for those of you who do not know me, I do have my master's degree in social work. So um, I know quite a bit. I learned so much throughout that program. I've learned about, um, you know, how to deal with people who may be struggling with addictions, people that may be struggling with life's problems, relationships, um, people who are um, domestic violence situations, especially domestic violence, because not only am I educated about that, but I also have personal experience and um, I, I love to share um, how I healed from not only being in um, domestic violence relationships, but how not to, to go back and how to truly love myself. So that is my kind of like my expertise there. And uh, I've also helped families who, um, who uh, experience grief. And I also um, am very good with helping with resources for people that may be looking for a home or and things of that sort. But anyway, I don't want to hold you up with all this. It's just a little background about myself. So um, for those of you who don't know, I am K Passion. Um, and I am here to uh, talk about anxiety and depression and how to cope. So, um, when I am on TikTok, uh, TikTok, for whatever reason, does not like to push out things like this. So, when I'm in my lives, I get a lot of people that come in, oh, I'm so depressed. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I have an anxiety. And me being an empath and, um, you know, always wanting to uh, help others, I always... Um, stop my whole life. It doesn't matter if I'm partying. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I tend to stop the whole life to help others. So this is what this platform is for. So now I can direct people. Hey, I have a video just for you. So for those of you who um, deal with an anxiety and depression, I myself had dealt with depression for many years. I did not know why. I did not. I did not know the root cause of my depression. I just knew that I was in a really dark place um, for years, I, and it was so bad. There was one point where I wouldn't even come out of my room. I wouldn't answer my phone. Phone. It didn't matter if it was my mother calling, my sister, whoever. I just simply. Um, was in a very dark place and it took me a lot to to get out of that place um so just bringing it home I'm, I'm not gonna that was just a little self-disclosure right but what i really what i'm really here to talk about is how to deal with depression so you know when when we tell people right for one people that deal with depression when we tell people that we are depressed they don't understand. I know for me, um, you know, coming from a, a, a family with a religious background, oh, you just need to pray. Oh, you know, you don't have it bad. You have this, you have, you know, people don't understand that depression is a real mental health disorder. And it's not just about praying. It takes a lot of work to cope with depression, right? So we have our bad days. Um, I'm so in a different place now. I still battle depression, but I now know how to cope and it does not affect me the way it used to. So this is what I wanna share with you, right? 
there's going to be bad days. Um, and sometimes um, we think that we're just depressed, but a lot of times there is a root cause. And I cannot, I can, this video is going to be short, so I can't begin to go into you know, childhood traumas and all these things that could contribute to that. But I do want to talk about how to cope with it, right? So you may have your bad day and it's okay. You lay in the bed, you know, you mope, you cry, you're sad. You don't want to be around anybody. You really don't want to talk to anybody. Okay, that's okay. You know, do that for a day, maybe two. But after that, somehow, some way, you have to find a way to pick yourself back up. Okay, and it's not going to be easy because it's not always going to be someone. I'm not going to be there to say, hey, wake up, get out of the bed, pick yourself up, right? And people are not always going to be available to you. So that is when you have to find things to do yourself and how to cope. So you have to find your purpose and you have to find those things that you enjoy doing, right? So some of the ways to cope with depression and anxiety is and I'm just giving you a list of things because these are some you have to pick what works better for you because we everybody is different and we all have um, different things that works to our advantage, right? So meditation.